Hey guys, this is Bill from Gamers World. Uh, I'm your expert in everything that is Yu-Gi-Oh! And today we are opening a sealed box of Lightning Overdrive. And this is the latest set in the series. Uh, this just came out a couple of weeks ago and um, this is a very powerful set to say the least. Uh, we have the cover card here, the Chaos Dragonic Utopia Ray. And, um, there is new. There is a couple of new archetypes in this set, such as the amazement and the uh, attraction archetype, and the branded archetype. And we'll be discussing that a little bit more as the video goes on. Uh, Twenty-four packs, sealed box. Let's get cracking. And remember, guys, comment, like, and subscribe. Fresh channel, looking to expand. And as always guys, any card you see in this video will be available to purchase through our card market account which will be linked in the description below. So we'll start with one half. So our first pack of Lightning Overdrive. Uh, in the side. So here's the amazement uh, card that I was talking about. And we'll explain a little bit more as we go on. Let's have a look here. Some Dogmatica support, more Ignister support, Pegasus Twin Saber, uh, S Force Chase, our first Ultra. This is actually not a bad Ultra. So this reads target face of cards your opponent controls up to the number of S Force monsters you control with different names. But turn them to the hand if S Force monster you control would banish a card from your hand to activate its effect. You can banish this card from your graveyard instead. You can only use this fragment per turn. That's pretty good. Generic trap for S Force. S Force was an arch type that got introduced in the last set, uh, Blazing Vortex. We actually opened a, a box of it in our previous video, so check that out if you haven't. I'll just leave it here on screen for you to guys to see. Second pack. So we have a uh, Ice Barrier support. I don't know why these guys keep getting more support. Anyway, Black Eyes, the Plunder Patrol Sea Guide. Uh, this archetype is actually picking up a bit of steam. Star Mine, ZS Arm Sage, uh, Zexil Construction, Amaze Attraction Wonder Wheel, Amaze Attraction Majesty Merry Go Round, and Amaze Attraction Rapid Racing. Cool. Another second pack, super. So basically, the thing with the amazement and the attraction is. The attractions are like equips that uh, equip onto the amazement cards and uh, you can trigger different effects depending on which oh now this is actually one of the best cards in the set and it is only a common so this is scrap raptor level 4 earth dinosaur tuner <laughs> unnecessarily a tuner uh, 1400 attack and 1000 defense so this guy is pretty pretty strong you can target one monster you control destroy it also, during your main phase this turn, you can normal summon one scrap monster in addition to your normal summon slash set. If this card is destroyed by the effect of a scrap card and sent to your graveyard, you can add one scrap factory or one non-tuner scrap monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect of scrap raptor once per turn. Okay, multiple effects that destroy your own cards and you get to add scrap uh, factory or a non-tuner from your deck to your hand. Just broken all together. Ancha Mufrit, I hope I didn't butcher that. Ferrana Guardian Sphinx, uh, that's actually um, related to the Sphinx card that was released in one of the very first sets. Uh, some Sky Scourge, Sid Hells, again, some support from our old archetypes. S Force, Edge Racer, uh, these guys are okay. They were uh, introduced in the last set and um, they're kind of like a control deck security guys and they work with columns so all right next pack black eyes the plunder patrol sea guide s force dog tag dan mari add ignister anka morfrit dark infant add ignister zeal alliance boo boo game basil rose shoot and uh Bujin Ascendants, I believe that is how it's pronounced. That was this pack. Next one. Archetype wise, this set isn't the best, but 
cards on its own on generic strong cards this this set is pretty good amazement ambassador bufo it's a very cute looking bear uh, judge of the ice barrier another black eyes we pulled a lot of these guys world soul carbon uh, amazement family faces screams of the branded you and ai and we begin so that's four supers and an ultra so far and a scrap raptor so this actually has a lot of um uh, support for uh, synchros as well and that is one of my favorite summoning mechanics of all time um and back another ambassador cute bear starry knight cl Sprigans brothers so uh, this um archetype debuted in the last set and uh, like i said this um works similar to the beast warrior archetype uh, zodiac so it's a decent decent garden rose flora this is actually one of the more nicer artworks in the set a lot of new uh, plant support i believe the sun vine uh archetype is in this set as well uh, amaze attraction wall rock mahmoud amaze attraction Majestic Man go around. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the Sun Valon Daphne. So this is like um, a plant archetype and it's a uh, focus is on link summoning. So that's interesting. For the amazement archetype, I think the card you want to get is the um, Archelino, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, basically that card is a uh, equips one and you can special summon it whenever a trap is activated. So it's a strong card. I can definitely see that being played at three in any amazement uh, attraction decks. And we we're also uh, discussing if it can be played in the altergeist archetype as it just needs a generic trap to resolve. Uh, Phronic. Ooh. White Knight of Dogmatica. Okay, first ultra ritual. So uh, you can ritual summon this card with Dogmatic Calamity. You cannot spell summon monsters from the extra deck. Full stop. If your opponent activates a card or effect, except during the damage step, you can send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. So it follows the team of sending monsters from the extra deck to the graveyard. And if you do, look at your opponent's extra deck and send one monster from it to the graveyard. This card gains attack equal to half the combined attack of those monsters sent to the graveyard until the end of this turn. You can only use this effect of White Knight of Dogmatica once per turn. So this is actually uh, decent. Um, I'm not sure if many of the Dogmatic uh, um, decks would play it, but it's another another ritual for the deck. Leon AI, Hidden Springs of the Far East. And it's a funny card. We've got some samurai cards and the, the weird monkey robot that was played by Tristan in the original series. ZS and Sage, Zeal and Trust, more um, Topia support and Amazement specials. So. I believe in all the amazement uh, cards they introduce, um, they always feature the Alcalino, the, the magician for the archetype. So we'll sleeve this up. Um, this uh, dogmatic archetype is still one of the best archetypes in the format at the moment and it's only getting better. Nadir Servant is a strong card and should probably go to one in the next ban list. Judge uh, Yama Mori Mori, another reptile card. Uh, Starry Night CL, Sky Scourge Sittels, Lava Volval X Lord, so more Lava Vol support. That to the side. Terrors of the Under Root, uh, AI Meet You, uh, Bird of the Prominence Flame, and the uh, Boo Boo Game. That is our last comment. So we've got an interesting assortment of super rares here. Dessert. Um, the two ultra so far, so we have to hit our secrets. And fingers crossed, the infamous starlight rares. Uh, Spriggan's brother. So this, uh, these, uh, this archetype is actually set in the same universe as Dogmatica, um, and I believe Tribrook Grade as well. So if you're interested in stuff like that, you can just look up the laws. Um, as far as dog tag, and I believe this. These guys are set up in the same uh, lore as uh, the Psy frames. So basically these guys um, are meant to chase the Psy frames and thus the Psy frames having the effect of banishing themselves and uh, leaving the field. 
kind of represents them trying to escape from the police. Um, Clock Arc, ZS, Iron Sage, and uh, ZW, Dragon, and Calibre, some more Utopia support. DDD, Sun, Levine, Daphne, AI, Challenge You, Terrors of the Underroot, and yeah, that was our pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I believe this is our 13th pack. Nearly halfway there. Still at Ignister, World Soul, Carbon, Zeal, and Trust. Spragans booty and uh, oh we got some Bujian support here that was a, a very popular uh, archetype that was a that was more relatively just a, a stun or control based deck and uh, these cards they're trying to kind of like maybe expand it into combo variants I, I miss the days of Bujian Yamato because of Colosseum and set traps So nothing too crazy yet. Ank uh, move right. Uh, oh, we were actually discussing this card. Uh, it's not the best pendulum support, but there is actually a good bit of decent uh, pendulum support in this set. That one unfortunately isn't one of them. Oh, we have this cute little other guy hoarding all the sweets. Otishidamashi. Uh, Paleozoic. This is actually a decent card. And more level X Lords. Amaze Attraction. More Warrock. <laughs> Generation, War of the Glow, AI Challenge U. I really wish, this is such a cool archetype, but I just wish they didn't make it a uh, battle phase. Reliant would be a whole lot better. Back to the side. So more Bujian. Uh, I believe this actually is um, the Pegasus uh, version. Um, S4 Star Tag, Scrap Raptor, I'll keep that to the side. Star Mine, and Spriggan's Merrymaker. Ruby Beaky, Amaze Attraction Rapid Racing, and Basil Rose Shoot, and one by one. This is kind of like a. Uh, we have a card one called One for One. Send a monster from your hand or field to the graveyard. You can target one of your level one monsters that is banished or in your graveyard, except the monster sent to the graveyard. Add that monster to your hand. You can only activate one one by one per turn. Not as good as its spell counter part, but could see some play definitely. Carbon, Yami Mori Mori, another Scrap Raptor. So we have our playset of Scrap Raptors. Ooh, ZS Ascended Sage. Uh, if you control no cards, you can special summon this card from your hand. A Utopia XOZ monster that was special summoned using this card on the field. This card is XOZ summon you can add on. Yeah, that's not too bad. One Curry Way, one Cross Red, Steven Springs, and Binary Blader, and one so. So we will sleeve up our Utopia support. Booster. Should be hitting some secrets anytime soon. From the Guardian Sphinx, Spring and Spooky, Amazement, Line and Delight Charmer, Fugit Vicky, One by One, War of Generations. Amazing. Now, this is actually one of the better cards in the set. It's a uh, the Charmer card, and this one supports light. You can get this in super rare, or you can get it in starlight rare. The latter being the more expensive version. And then you light decks should probably have one or two of these guys in there. Okay, next pack. As far as dog tag. Dogmatic calamity. Mori, Dark Eye Nightmare, Ooh, Garden Rose Flora, beautiful artwork, Amaze Attraction, Google Games, Online Cross Breed, Terrors of Underroot. Yeah. Cool. So we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 more boosters to go on this Lightning Overdrive set. I believe this set is followed by Dawn of Majesty. And we will be for sure doing some videos on that set. Okay, so next booster, amazement, quick arc, spray guns, brothers, paleozoic, and Rossi girl. Proof of proofless. So super war rock, sun, Levant, Daphne, I need you, super 
Android side. Right, let's go. So the cards that we should be looking for would be obviously the Diviner of the Herald is the sought, most sought after normal card in the set. And then after that would be the likes of the, the new book of uh, Lunar Eclipse and uh, even the Amazement uh, Seeker Rare, the Arcelena, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Fufo, Dark Eye Nightmare, Higashima Dashi, Spriggan's Beauty, Supreme Sovereign Serpent of Golgon there. So that's a reptile, new reptile support. I believe these guys are the reason why Snake Rain is sought after at the moment. Paleozo Town Brother. You guys think we'll hit a secret in this pack? No, we hit an Ultra. Uh, Amaze Attraction Horror House. Target one amazed monster you control or one face of monster your opponent controls. Equip this card to it. You can activate the following effect. You can target one effect monster your opponent controls. Negate its effect. Your opponent uh, change the equipped monster to face down. You can only okay. Not the worst, not the best either. I think there is some better um, attraction cards in this set. Let's see this bad boy up. Pack. Uh, come on, secret. Nope. Got a super S Force Edge Racer. It's not looking so good, guys. I'll be honest. Boo Boo Game. Basil Rose Shot. Binary Blade. Let's go. Okay, we are down to uh, uh, five boosters, and we have still yet to hit our two secret rares. So hopefully our two secret rares should be in these last five packs. If not, you guys should definitely subscribe for the sad box. But even if you do get some secret rares, subscribe anyway. At least we got this cute looking little other. Eating some snacks. Uh, Paleozo Cambro Raster. Sky Scourge. World Side. I don't know if it's me or these packs have been basically the exact same carbon copies. Uh -huh. Expendable die. Okay, that's an interesting one. Tribute one warrior monster, then target one card on the field, destroy it. And if you do, draw one card. Okay, that's not the best. War Rock Generations. Judgment of the Branded. Amazing Trash and Rapid Racing. AI Meet You. The other. I can go through these already. And we have my terrible pun card here. So we are fourth last booster and we have yet to hit any secret rare guys what are your bets pause the video and let me know underneath if we're gonna get any secret rares if we're gonna get one secret rare or two secret rares if we're gonna hit the diviner or not pause it right now and comment okay so boom Magmana calamity star mine judge of the ice barrier there's our first secret rare, not the best one, but your secret rare nonetheless. Uh, Ruddy Rose Dragon. So these are uh, rose cards who uh, were played by Akiza in the anime. Um, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 stars, fire, 3200 attack, 2400 defense. 1 tuner plus 1 or non tuner monsters. If this card is synchro summoned, you can banish all cards from the graveyards. Then if this card is synchro summoned, these are black rose or plant synchro material. You can destroy all other cards on the field. When your opponent activates a card or effect that will destroy a card, you can tribute this card and negate that activation. So it is a it's a heavy heavy cost for a card that doesn't uh, do too much, but in its own archetype, I believe uh, it's a it's a good card. Uh, screen with the branded or a big blow. Okay, good. So yeah, we got some black rose support in this set. Put that there. And you know Black Rose is always going to be popular because Akiza is popular. Okay, so we've hit one secret rare. We have all our ultras. All we're missing is one more secret rare or maybe a Starlight. So Sky Scourge, yes. Mori, Zero Trust, 
Ray Guns, Merry Maker, Side, Kitten Springs, Georgia and North Abundant Terriers. Okay, second to last Easter. Night. Tribal grade Bear Broom, the Rampid Rampager. Tribal grade Sport. Sun the line that me. Okay guys, so our last booster, do you think this will be a secret rare? So hopefully this is, we already have one here, hopefully this will be a secret rare. And I hope you guys enjoy this box opening of Lightning Overdrive. Star mine. Oh, we got another scrap raptor. We'll put that to the side along with our playset here. Chronic Guardian Sphinx. World Soul Carbon. Uh, there it is. There's our second secret rare. So this is a Baja Lutia the Grand Radiant and uh, this is a very big dragon you can tribute this card by tributing one effect monster during your opponent's main phase if a card is added from main deck to their hand except by drawing and this card is in your hand you can immediately after this effect resolve tribute summon this card if this card is normal or special summoned from the hand you can make your opponent banish the top cards of their deck face down equal to the number of cards in their hand then they shuffle their entire hand into the deck and if they do they add the cards banished by this effect so um yeah this is not a bad uh, secret i am not sure exactly what deck this can be put in uh, i believe this is comes in starlight as well yeah let's see this up fortunately no diviner or any starlights but not the worst box Eon AI, Wall Rocket Low, Eugene Ascendant, 1 by 1, Star Mine, Frank. So yeah guys, that was the, the box opening. Uh, could be better, could be worse I guess. But um, this is very interesting. I think um, some of the Rose cards will see play in the future. Anyway guys, we'll be doing a lot more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! openings and product reviews and stuff like that again if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments below and um, comment rate subscribe and have a good day guys